In my last tutorial you saw these three I.O. boxes. One for spreads, one for colors and one for strings. In this tutorial and in the next one I will show you how to create this. I will just show the very basics because I.O. boxes can become very complex nodes and you will need to know a bit more before that makes any sense to you. I will be using spreads. So if you don't know what a spread is, better check out my previous tutorial. Ok, we start again with an empty patch. Left click drag and press the delete key. To select your entire patch you can also press the short key, that's control A and then hit the delete key. To begin with we create our IO box advanced. We also need a spread generator. Let's make an I spread. And set the 2 pin to 100. Now we have a spread with 100 slices. Connect the output to the IO box and create an hair inspector. Select the IO box and look at hair inspector. You will see double diamond brackets here and that means we are dealing with a spread. Ok, let's give the IO box a name. We can do that by clicking on the descriptive name field and type in a name. We call this one IO box 1. Now set columns to 5 and rows to 2. This means we want to see 5 columns and 2 rows or 10 values or 10 slices of the spread. When we make the IO box a bit bigger we can see the first 10 slices of our spread. Let's toggle the booleans show slice index and show grid so we can see it all a bit better now. What we have done here is making an IO box that passes all the slices of the input spread 100 and shows us the first 10 slices. Slice 1 till 10. Slice number 0 is our first slice and slice number 9 is our 10th slice. Ok, let's make another IO box and connect it to IO box 1. Click on it for a inspector Set the columns to 10 and the rows also to 10. We call this IO box 2. Let's scale it up really big so we can see all the values of the i spread. Let's also toggle the grid and the show slice index. And make it even bigger. In IO box 2 we can see all the 100 slices that are generated by the I spread. Select IO box 1 again. You can see here it's IO box 1 that's selected. And change the slice count mode to goals, rows, pages. In IO box 1 there's nothing changed. But in IO box 2 we now only see 10 slices. This is the difference between goal, rows, pages or input of the slice count mode. When an I.O. box is set to calls rows pages, it will only output the values that you can see in the I.O. box. And if you set it to input, which is the default, it will show you what you have set it to, but it will pass on all the data. Also understand that columns and rows are only for showing purposes. They will not change anything to the spread or the sequence of the slices. So if I say two columns and five rows, It just looks different, but the output is still exactly the same. Ok, let's delete IO box number 1. Select delete and connect the I spread to the IO box. In IO box number 2 we will now see again 100 slices. Now let's change the I spread to 200. We still see 100 slices. But when we hover above the output pin, we will see it actually has 200 slices. Now let's change the eye spread to 10. Now we only have 10 slices in IO box 2. But if we change the slice count mode in head inspector to calls, rows, pages, we see 100 values again. But if you look closer, you will see that the values are repeated. 
029029029. This is because you told VVVV, I want to see 10 columns or 10 rows or 100 slices. So VVVV will show you 100 slices. But since the I.O. box only receives 10 slices, it just fills up the I.O. box by repeating the input until it has 100 slices again. You should know enough now to make some I.O. boxes yourself. The slice count modes in the columns and the rows are available in all the other types of I.O. boxes. That is, except the I.O. box node. But this is a rather special node and we will be seeing what this is when we talk about subhatches. The slice count mode maximum and the pages pin are four more advanced features and will be discussed later. The other configuration pins are used to set up the look of the I.O. box. We are going to handle this after you know what help files are. Ok, let's move on to the next tutorial where we will create some spreads for text, values and strings.